here, but now, tonight, there's a new problem, a shortage of vaccines we've been talking about. Right, and the Biden administration again stepping in, saying it's going to give states approximately a 17% boost in vaccine next week, and then Governor Hogan is preparing for that, announcing plans to open up a mass vaccination site all across Maryland. One of those sites will be MIT Bank Stadium. WJC is live right now. Abajor Burnett has more on these efforts. So many Marylanders continue to struggle to get an appointment. Have a joy. Good afternoon. Well, the biggest problem right now is about 2 million Marylanders are eligible to get that vaccine, but the problem is a shortage that we've been talking about all afternoon. So at this point, the president says he's planning to boost the doses to the states by next week. And in anticipation of that happening, earlier today, Governor Larry Hogan announced mass vaccination sites across the state. Good afternoon. Governor Larry Hogan is revving up for more vaccines, even if he doesn't know when they will be coming. This afternoon, he announced plans for mass vaccination sites. Six Flags America in Prince George's County and MNC Bank Stadium will be among those sites. National Guard members will be deployed for this rapid buildup. I am committed to activating as many members of the National Guard as are needed to accomplish this critical life saving mission. To help ramp up the state's rollout, some giant Safeway and Walmart locations will be providing vaccines. Two million people are currently eligible to get that vaccine, but the state says it's only gotten about 667,000 doses from the federal government so far. About 6% of the state's population has gotten at least one shot, and people have been running into roadblocks when they try to sign up online. Dr. Panagis Goliasados with Johns Hopkins University says he's experienced it with his own elderly parents. They had no idea how to maneuver the online portals. If we want to make sure those patients, the shots get into the right arms of the patients, um, we have to have a system to make it as easy as possible for them. Taking in the 10 months since the pandemic, 6,788 people have died in Maryland. But there are specks of improvement. The positivity rate and the number of new cases have had a slight dip overnight. The governor acknowledged the next challenge will be vaccinating all 6 million Marylanders. I've always been a guy who tells it like it is. And the truth is that this is not going to magically get better overnight. And the last 10 months has been really hard. Uh, this is going to be much, much harder. Okay, so a lot of moving parts here. The gist of today's story is Governor Larry Hogan says they will be having mass vaccination sites across the state. We know one will be at MT Bank Stadium. And before the president spoke earlier today, Governor Hogan said he was on the line with governors across the country, with administration officials. And Governor Hogan sent out a note after that saying he's urging the president to ramp up production without delay. But you just heard the president say this is going to take some time. Live tonight at 5, Average Wave Burnett for WJZ.